Harry Hammond Hess was a songwriter, engineer, and a producer. He was also a geologist and a United States Navy officer in World War II. You're probably wondering what is so great about Hess and what his theory or contribution was to our world. That is what we will be talking to you about today. Harry Hess was known as one of the founding fathers of plate tectonics, the other father being Alfred Wegener. During the time of the early 1920s, Hess came up with a theory that the outer ridge layer of the earth is divided into a couple of dozen plates that move around and across the earth's surface relative to each other, like slabs of ice on a lake. He used a depth sounder for whenever he was out on a boat to measure the depth of the ocean floor. on the history of the ocean in 1962 in which outlined the theory that could explain how the continents could actually drift. This theory layer became known as C4 spreading. Hess discovered that the oceans were shallower in the middle and identified the presence of mid-ocean ridges raised above the surrounding generally flat seafloor by as much as 1.5 kilometers. He found that the deepest parts of the oceans were very close to the continental margins in the Pacific with ocean trenches extending down to depths of over 11 kilometers in the case of the Mariana Trench off the coast of Japan. Hess investigated that the oceans grew from their centers with molten material oozing up from the earth's mantle along the mid-ocean ridges. This created a new seafloor which then spread away from the ridge in both directions. The ocean ridge was... <laughs> thermally expanded and consequently higher than the ocean floor further away. As spreading continued, the older ocean floor cooled and sub subsided to the level Tanner. of the abyssal plain, Tanner. which is four kilometers deep. What has found out was a big surprise. The bottom of the sea was not smooth as expected, but full of trenches, canyons, and volcanic sea mountains. The exploration of the ocean floor continued, and by the 1950s, more researchers have found out that a huge rift ran along the top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. That empowered Hess to understand his ocean floor profiles in the Pacific. He realized that the Earth's crust had been moving away on each side of the ocean ridges, down the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans that were long and volcanically active. He realized his theory and history of ocean basins in 1962, and it came to be called seafloor spreading. In the early 90s, dating of ocean core samples showed that the ocean floor was younger at the mid-Atlantic ridge, but progressively older in any direction, confirming the reality of seafloor spreading. Further evidence came along in 1963, as geologists realized that the Earth's magnetic field had reversed polarity many times. With each reversal lasting less than 200,000 years, rocks of the same age in the seafloor crust would have taken on magnetic polarity prevalent at the same time that part of the crust formed. Sure enough, surveys of either side of the mid-Atlantic ridge showed a symmetrical pattern of alternating polarity stripes that clinched the argument for most geologists. 